What is blue raspberry? In the past couple of weeks, I've reviewed a few blue raspberry e-juices, and I started thinking to myself, what the heck is blue raspberry anyway? Uh, I always assumed it was a mix of blueberry and raspberry, but then I got to thinking a little more, and I realized that I can't, I never taste blueberry at all in the blue raspberry vapes that I try. So I did some research, and I found some pretty interesting things. So it started in the 60s and the 70s, when popsicles like Otter Pops and Flavor Ice became extremely popular. It was really hard for consumers to tell the difference between all of the red flavors, like watermelon, cherry, strawberry, and raspberry. So when any of those flavors were mixed into the same packages, manufacturers had to figure out a way for customers to be able to tell the difference. The answer to the problem was obvious. They used different shades of red and pink. And the color that food manufacturers chose for raspberry was a dark red dye known as amaranth or red number two. And it's named after the dark red color of the amaranth plant, but it doesn't actually have the plant in it. So starting around the 50s, people started to wonder about the safety of red number two. But it wasn't until the 70s when research of the dye started really coming out. A Soviet study in 71 found that red number two was linked to cancer. And further studies by the FDA also found it linked to cancer. Uh, so the dye was banned by the FDA in 1976. So with red number two out of the question, food companies came up with a new way to market raspberry by making it blue. The earliest use of a blue raspberry flavor that I can find is by the use of Gold Metal, who announced a new blue raspberry flavor for their snow cone brand in 1958, which was supposedly inspired by the white bark raspberry. Uh, white bark raspberries are actually more like a, a dark purple or black. And people say that the white bark raspberry tastes more like uh, tart blackberries and not at all like what we think of blue raspberry today but that's what blue raspberry flavors are thought to be inspired by. So somewhere around 1970, both the blue raspberry Otter Pop and the blue raspberry Icy became huge hits, which created a, a storm of blue raspberry products to hit the market. More companies started developing their own blue raspberry flavors, and now we have a blue raspberry flavor that we all know and love, but that isn't actually based on any real flavor, but it does have a raspberry taste. And what's funny about all of this is how we associate flavors with real fruits that don't actually taste like real fruit. Flavoring experts say that synthetic raspberry flavoring is actually a mix of cherry, pineapple, and banana. It's not even raspberry. So yeah, there's a little history about blue raspberry, which is actually one of my favorite vape flavors.